no way. That's, that's not. That's hey, not coach, I made him switch the hats up. They had him over here man, first. You might need it, man. You, you get, your chrome goes worse than mine. I don't know. I mean, I, we, can't, I can't live up to Randolph and how he looks in this. No, there ain't, there ain't no way that uh, Randolph All right, Chilton's welcome to, to no. Wake Forest head coach Steve Forbes, who yeah. two Wake Forest guys over there. I don't know. Right. This is a little. Now, now, listen, let's talk about this. Go deep. That flight landing today. Bad. Tell him about Tragic. <laughs> it was that bad? Um, okay, first first of all, just I got, to tell me about all, the kid throwing up on the flight. I got a weak stomach. Listen, thank you. <laughs> okay, I got a weak stomach. <laughs> and okay. so the only thing that saved me was the mask. Really? The mask kind of masked the Were you the crying? Smell. Were you like was I crying? It was coming 30 down miles your... an hour. Oh, nah, dog. It, it was. Seriously. It was. Really? It, it, was it, it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. I, I was hey. watching Peaky Blinders, though. And so Peaky, you know, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Oh, yeah, subtitles. Can't understand them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so for what it's let, worth, Goodman's tried to let, put let, subtitles underneath me for the show. That's right. That's no, right yeah. Anytime he came to Boston. I mean, he probably played for Peaky subtitles. Blinders at one point over there in Europe. <laughs> so, all right, let, we, we got an ACC guy on here. Yeah. One bit ACC was, was stop, my mantra. Stop. For most I clown, of and I clowned you in one of my uh, press conferences. I was kidding. No. <laughs> sort of. I, I said, we got this guy out there saying one bit ACC. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> did I not say that? You probably did. I did. Go look did. it up. He Go listened. look it up. He did. All I got to say is just because we had four Pac-12 teams in the Elite yeah. Eight. Three Pac-12, three or four last year in the Elite Eight. Was it three A or four? Ago? Three. Three. Oregon State was in the Elite Eight this year. You know what Wayne Tickles? I played him this year. Yeah, I know. You, you know what his record is. Well, so yeah, all I'm I played saying him. is, okay, Hubert Davis, how do you look at it with Carolina? To me, it's a tale of two seasons, obviously, yeah. right? They were – and is it because Hubert is a first-year head coach no. trying to figure out his team? How do you explain I mean, Carolina? I, think it's, I think it's typical of, of any team, any league. I, I, and I've, he's heard me say it. I think you have the opportunity to get better or get worse as the year goes along. I think our league obviously started out slow. But I think as we got going in January and February, our league got better. And, and I told you this in, in, on January 1 when we got whipped pretty good down at Miami. I told you Miami was good. And you're like, ah, oh, you know, I'm like, I'm just telling you, they got three really good guards that you can't take the ball from them. You can't. Yeah. They keep their dribble better than anybody I've ever seen. I think with North Carolina, you know, we got them in late late January. You, you never know how. Them. Yeah, but, you know, I think he moved uh, RJ to the, more to the point. I think he put Caleb more at the two. And took off. Took off. And, yep. yeah. you know, Brady Manick is a, is a, is a matchup problem. And, you know, Baco's Baco. And, do, and, do you feel like? Like with Dawson Garcia leaving, in a way it kind of helped them to I mean, some degree because I mean, they I, knew their roles. Maybe I don't know. I, I it mean, helped them with that butt whooping they got in Winston Salem. The butt whooping in Winston Salem after I mean, they lost to Miami yeah, helped them. I mean, That's but you you're right though. I mean, credit to them. Credit to, to Huber for you know not blocking out the noise and continuing to coach yeah. his basketball team, and he was very positive with them. I it didn't was. play him after that, yeah. so I didn't see him. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm not one of those guys that watches a thousand games. I mean, you know, I but I watch them, and and to me, I, I would say just that move right there, RJ. I would say, I mean, that'd just be. I would I watched right. his, I like great. you. I watched his growth, and we. And I, I yep. called you one after one of the games, and I saw him start to take off, and I got the next game right after that, and I'm like, he's playing with some pace. He's just, he's starting to make better decisions. You saw him grow, and I'm like, if he takes a step. They could turn it on, and I didn't see this, but they're nah, better. You know, and then Brady, you know, he's he's he's, he's been a great, good player. You I, know, and he against some teams he can score in and out. Mm -hmm. Now some teams he can just play out on the perimeter. You know, and um, now I think it's going to be a big key for him is who he defends. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's it's that's going to be something that he's going to have to step up and I defend. Mean, he might have to defend Paulo. We probably will. You, you know, mean? unless they're switching or whatever, but. I mean, and then Paulo's got to not get enamored, in my opinion, of playing outside and going down there and, and, and destroying people inside. And to me, just watching the Arkansas game, they just punished Arkansas at the basket. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't, you know, in the AC tournament against Virginia Tech, um, North Carolina and, 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 and Duke settled for jump shots the whole game. Yeah. You know, now Virginia Tech's a pretty damn good uh, defensive team. But they just settled. Now, I didn't see them selling in the tournament. They did. They did. And then, well, North Carolina, though, they made shots. Mm -hmm. They made shots. You know, they, I'm not sure they're a better driving team than Duke, but if Caleb's making shots like that, 
problem. I think a lot goes back to what you're saying about R.J. Davis and how he's improved. And yeah. Hubert's put the ball in his hands a lot more. And all those other guys have been a big beneficiary, Brady well, Manick included. And, and listen, you can, you know, you still got a guy getting a double double as many times as his teammate did yeah. it. Twenty, you know, Tim Duncan. What do you got? Twenty nine or thirty on the year? Twenty nine. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, and, and you're saying R.J. and I get it, Leaky, mm-hmm. and Leaky's made some shots too, but you still got that guy in the middle oh, that's yeah. taking up. You gonna get you double double. It's a pretty good thing to fall back on, mm-hmm. you know. And so I think it's a great matchup, and I think it's interesting that neither what, one of them the won on their home court. Right. What, what's the key here? What, if you had one key, Duke Carolina, what is it? One key? I, I mean, I look at it just like this. I look at it if 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 Carolina can keep Duke from getting to the basket, they got a great chance to win. Mm-hmm. If Duke, if Carolina makes shots, they got a great chance to win. You know, they, there's a lot of good individual matchups, but. Um, I think those are the two big keys, just simplifying it. Like, that's the way I look at it. And, and Carolina is really good when they make shots. And, and um, But jump shots. I don't know how good they are getting to the rim. You know, and, and I mean, maybe. They, they, and they, did, they did in Durham. Yeah, see, I didn't watch it. I, Ooh, I, I didn't watch it. It was amazing. Yeah, I know. I mean, his defense was atrocious. They couldn't guard R.J. Right. He just lived yeah, in the paint. Yeah, see, I, I didn't. I, I heard that. And, yeah. and, you know, I mean, I. There's a lot of really good matchups, you know, like like AJ Griffin. You know, he could he could he could he be sure. an X factor? But you know, Leaky's probably going to guard him. Leaky yeah. can guard him now. Oh, yeah, great. You know, and I think AJ Griffin's a great player. Mm-hmm. Like great pace. Never get, it's hard to speed him up. Yeah. Um, you know, RJ and, and hey, you know, Roach has been one of the most improved Pro- players in yeah. the deal too. Now, it's been yeah. great so lately. those guys kind of neutralize each other, and so you're like, okay, give, Manic give me your, and, hey, and, and give me your make, best. K Zoom story. Oh God! Give me your best K <laughs> Zoom story, because you came into the league. Uh, I didn't say anything for two months. I just kept my mouth shut. You know, um, I tell you, K told me um, I got relegated this past year to run the, to be in charge of the meetings, right? Um, Zoom meetings. I think it's because it was W. It, I was. I think it, they go alphabetical order. It just happened to be W. So the night. So he. he so we got done, and you know, I keep it light and keep it moving, and you know, we got some things done. He called. He said, "Hey, you should run every meeting." I said, "Listen, I wasn't born yesterday." Now, I said, "By the time it gets back around to me, I'll be done." Okay? There's 15 teams in the league. Everybody's taking a chance, but uh, he's, you know, was come, it crazy though for you coming in as a did, again a, mid, a on, mid-major guy who again was at Northwest Florida not too long ago? Yeah. All of a sudden, Northwest you're on, Florida produces Division One coaches. They, do, they definitely about. do. <laughs> hey, Tons of them. Come on, man. Um, yeah, I took a screenshot. The yeah. very yeah, heck yeah. The first day on the I didn't like know, I may never get another one of these. Well, first of all, I didn't know how to do it, right? <laughs> I had Jonathan, my say, come here. And, you know, when Jonathan comes in there, whatever he did, and I'm like, yeah, and I just saved it because I was like, well, someday I'll be like, got some all Hall of Famers on here. K. Roy. Yeah. Bayheim. Larinaga, uh, uh, Leonard Hamilton. Oh, who's, who's Tony, the Bennett, most, Tony Bennett? Tony Bennett. Who's the most entertaining <laughs> on on there? K and K. K's more than Bayhive? They don't go at each other a little bit? No, they like each other. No, I know I, that's what I mean, I'm saying. I think, I think um, K, I, I like J- Coach Bayhive because he uh, he just keeps it real. Yes. You know, I mean, pretty pretty straightforward, <laughs> yeah, too. Like, no, that's not right. Okay. He doesn't give a shit. No, I like it. I, yeah. I think it's great. Um, you know, there's good, I mean, there's really, honestly, I, I like the league because there's great camaraderie. I really is true, truly among the coaches. I don't. You know, I mean, yeah, we there's rivalries and we play hard against each other, but I think there's a, a genuine amount of really good respect yeah. amongst the coaches. Mm. I mean, I feel that way. You know, I don't know. I'm just glad we survived today because I'm telling you that. Listen, they don't understand. I was trying. Like, I had you this, guys are so no, soft. No, no, no. You Jeff, wait, guys. I'm, no, it was Jeff. I'm listen, telling I've you. been in turbulence. Okay, this was turbulence on a big. <laughs> I've been on a flight with this guy. And he slept through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today, listen, telling you this was bad. Listen. He was only up because that kid, he was afraid the kid was going to throw uh, up. Tommy Shelby was doing some business in Picky Blinders. Right? <laughs> so, listen. So, we flew into Amsterdam like three years ago for in, in the same deal. But of all times, we fly into Amsterdam and there's a tornado. Come on now. A Amster- in tornado? Really? Yeah. And so, our, we went down and had to come back out of it. Oh. And my whole entire – it was at East Tennessee State. My whole entire team threw up. Except for me. <laughs> then I threw up because they threw up. It was kind of like uh, Stand By Me. 
You know that movie where the, he's reading the, yeah. the big guy reads it? He's too young. Yeah, yeah. They're too young. Remember the, the stewardess said, she gets on the mic and she says, I think we yeah. need to clap a standing ovation for this landing. He did. And everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. on the plane <laughs> started true, clapping. Yeah. Oh, that's how bad it was. But my but, innovation landing, that's a little But here's different. my favorite part. This is what I love about flying. We're going to experience some bumps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your definition <laughs> of bump? That was, I call that turbulence. That was, that was bad. <laughs> I call that not fun. Okay, that was why, bad. why is you sign an extension at Wake? Mm -hmm. There were some other schools that I don't know if they came after you, but certainly there was good. Listen, if you hadn't signed an extension, some other schools would have went after you. We know that. Why is Wake Forest the right place for you? Because, Reno. I mean, there's a great tradition at Wake Forest. People love basketball. It's not, it's not a you know, they like football too. But it's not like it's the SEC. Okay, you can talk all that all you want about, you know. There's some great programs in the SEC for basketball, but it's football. It dominates it. Um, you know, we got unbelievable facilities. Um, you know, it's a great place to live. Um, and, you know, John Curry hired me. I mean. I don't think you put a price tag on um, having a relationship with your AD. Yeah. You know, I think, yes. you know, there's a there's People a, don't understand that. Well, I don't, I, no, I don't, do. I don't think they do. And then, you know, um, you know, we got a new president, Dr. Wente. She mm -hmm. came from Vanderbilt. She's from Iowa like me. You know, um, I don't know. I mean, the grass isn't always greener. You know, and I, 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 I relish the fact that when I took the job, I think a lot of people thought, well, that's not a good fit. And I was like, well, what does that mean? Why not? You know, it's. It, it's a you can you can obviously win there. I mean, mm -hmm. he, they won huge, you know. Um, now you know there's challenges, uh, but there's challenges everywhere you work. You know, everybody's got those, and so the one great thing about it is you do get to sell great education, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's guys in there that that's what they're interested in doing, plus playing in the ACC. RC, you know? what you didn't know him? No. Before he took over, no. and, and you were on staff. No. What surprised you most about Forbes? Nothing surprised me. He was just, he came through the door and this is who I am and this is what I want. So it was like, that's all you can ask. It was like, okay. And no so, BS. Yeah, it was no BS and, and you, everything he said he was going to do, he just did it. And well, we didn't win enough. But no, I mean, first year, I mean, it's hard to win when you. <laughs> well, you know. listen, we had we we, yeah. we had a thing called, and no one got hit coming. worse than, than we did with the. With we the missed thirty three no, days. No, yeah, no one. Listen, it, no one. It, 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 never better, in the history. better damn non conference schedule. Oh come on, man! So in the history of <laughs> in the history of college basketball, let me ask you this: Do you think there'll ever be another coach that took a job on April thirtieth and didn't meet his team till July twentieth? Right. Yeah. Okay. That's now. Insane. That's insane. Now, Played two games on Thanksgiving weekend, and then didn't play the next game till New Year's Eve. And that was made up, meaning right, we, made we, up. We weren't, we didn't play another game. And we almost lost like January eighth. We almost lost to Qatar. It, it was like we were sitting there finding teams. Like, who can we play? Like, Qatar, can you come up here? Thirty-three days, and then the ACC said, "Okay, now Steve, this is who you're gonna open with: at Georgia Tech, at Virginia, Virginia. at Duke." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. And that was what I thought you was going to tell the story of because they wanted to add more ACC games in. Yeah. And I remember your line going, if you want to do that, then let me keep my team from last year. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, golly. I mean, it was just like, so you know. How, how hard will you hit? You, you really fared well through the port. Yeah. And, again, everybody asks you this. Everybody's like, yeah. is there some magic no. formula for no. you and the port on getting no. the line? This I mean, just beauty in the eye of the beholder. I mean, you know. Your wife married you for some reason. I don't know. You know, I mean, I think it just depends on, on what you see, right? I mean, of course she married yeah. I don't know why. Why the hell wouldn't she? I have no idea. But I think that, I think that you know, you just – it's relationships, too. Like, you trust somebody when they tell you that you Greg trust. Lansing with Yeah, you, right? I mean, you know, you with trust. Him. Jim Molinari um, was a good friend of mine, and I trust him. And – you know, he told me great things about Alondis, you know, and I mean, I was, I didn't sign him thinking he was going to be the AC player. Of the year. That's, up, that's all him. You know what I'm saying? I, now I knew he was a great passer. I could see that the first couple of days of practice. And I knew Jake, I thought Jake was really good. You told me that. Yeah. When you got him. yeah you I did. thought Jake was really good. Lansing did. Now, you know, so now what happens? Well, you know, everybody has to have an announcement now and say they're going to the NBA <laughs> and then they'll have an announcement later on about something else. And, <laughs> oh, I mean, they're withdrawing. I don't know. That's I mean, no, I don't know. I mean, we got some guys that are going to look at it. And they both – did they both de – Jake declared Yeah, today? he did, yeah. And Alondis? Alondis is a senior. He's done. He's done. Yeah. He doesn't have to. You know, and then I got three seniors that can come back. Um, I, you know, that's the tough part. 
Isaiah Musius was a great player. You know, he coached yep. him, recruited him, great kid, great Bruce, leader. Brewster Academy. Yeah, and then he got Davian Williamson and, and Dallas Walton, who Dallas, he, down to stress was awesome. Yeah, he, yeah, was. he was. He put his name in? Well, he's, he's, a, he, he's got he's a, a senior. But he could come back. Okay. So, he's so a, it's like. He's, he could be done, but he could, right. he could take that. That's, so, you that's know, the hard part right now is oh. I can't even figure out. How do who you can come back? Who can? How do you wait on that? Do you just plan on it? I mean, yeah, do you have to have I mean, an honest think, conversation at yeah, some point? Like, how do you? I already did. That? I am on meetings with him already. You know me. I get right to it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think it's just communication and and, and information. Yeah. So the first step for all these people, kids, is the evaluation. You send it in, you get it back. That gives you a little bit better idea of where you're at, right? And then declaring for the draft only that means that you know you can do some workouts, you know. But I think if you you know. In a week and a half or two weeks, most of these guys will get these evaluations back, and they'll have to be truthful about it. You know, like where where do you really sit? You know, and I um, mean, I think for the guys that I have, it's more about do I want to keep going to college? Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, I've been in college, I'm done. I, all of them got their degree. You know, do I want to keep going? Right. You know, and I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know. That's really their decision. You know, and so um, you, you got to be a little patient, but yeah, but you got to keep recruiting. I gotta ask you this: the scholarship number goes back down to the normal yes. number this year. How much does that play in? Just, I mean, I mean, it didn't really for me because I didn't go over it, right? You know, you um, don't want to, do you? I, I mean, didn't want way, to. More than I mean, thirteen's too many. I, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I think, think so too. Hard. I mean, it's hard to play eight, right? right you know, let right. alone happy anyway. Plus, it, Wake Forest would cost a lot of, a, a lot of disgruntled you, kids. At, at Wake, it cost you know another million dollars. Yeah, what do you want, light beer? Yeah, oh, hey, okay. say that around there. I don't even have one. I don't even have one. Um, you know, it, I think, you know, Wake 2 is cost, you know, and, and I think that that's one thing that a lot of people didn't not understand. Now, we obviously can do it, but like those mid-majors and all those guys, I mean. East Tennessee State. I mean, that's, right. how you want to pay for, uh, you know, four or five years scholarships? Yeah, yeah. You know, then you got to register those guys? Then what? Then they got another year, and it, it's going to be a little upside down for couple maybe a couple more years, yeah. Yeah. and then hopefully we'll get back. Portals crazier this uh, year than it was a year Okay, so ago. is there a one-time transfer rule or not? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But, but because I mean, now you've got to balance is it a waiver. What are you like, like about? at the waiver last year, well, so now well, they still have that one-time transfer. Because there's a lot of guys in there have already transferred. Right. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. You know, and so – but here's the deal about the transfer portals. You know, I'm not an economics guy, but supply far outweighs demand. Yes. Okay. So I've told, you, I've told you this before, and I'll say some of your five years, ten years from now, it's going to be interesting when somebody does a study – to see where where did all these guys go, where mm. they end up, because some of them ain't gonna end up. A lot of D three, a lot of D twos, maybe not having a scholarship. Even, right, right, just be done. Yeah, the grass ain't always but I green. I feel like yeah. there's so already eighteen hundred. Put their name. There's they already eighteen hundred kids in there right now. Yeah, and there's 18. a lot of listen. There's probably two hundred fifty walk-ons. Walk well, there's right. walk-ons. So, yeah, yeah. Sure. trying to go down I don't from do high the walk-on thing when I do my, yeah. my list, but but again, I mean, a lot of them. If they're done anyway, a lot of the mid majors throw their name in there, see what they get, and if they don't get anything, who cares? Yeah, right? It I mean, I, I'm sure there's some. I, you know, honestly, I haven't studied. I just go in there to look for what I look for and what, you know. Last year, obviously, we had, mad, you know, we had a lot more numbers. Mm -hmm. This year, I don't. I hope not. You know that we don't have as many, yeah. so you can kind of focus more on certain things, you yeah. know, than just trying to. I mean, maybe some, a lot of guys. That's how they got to redo their roster like I did last year. But it's, that's also a good thing in a way because it doesn't take three or four years to do it. You can and if you can hit quick. it, you can get good. And then you, you can know, get bad quick too. Yeah, you can. Right? I mean, yeah, you, make, you make mistakes there's and no you get magic. the wrong dudes. Listen, there's no – yeah, you got to know – you got to have a feel for it. How many I, people have called you? How many coaches have called you and said to you, like, how did you do it? What are you Why? looking for? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like the magic formula. I mean, I think what happens, honest truth is, guys, I think more people just – Use that. Oh, I coached JUCO for 11 years. That that helped me. Right. I mean, I don't know because you it, had to re redo your roster. Yeah, everything. but it's, you still got to be able to pick the right guy. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. I think this, you got team guys. This is what you? I think. I'm getting older. I learned how to recruit with my eyes and not my ears. Okay, and I think that a lot of you know younger coaches, no offense, but go to the your rankings that you used to have or something, and just start recruiting them. I'm kind of from the Missouri, the show me state. Like, I want to go out and just watch a kid play. I don't really care what he's ranked, especially in the portal, because um, anybody could be a leading scorer on a bad team. Totally. Okay. Yeah. I believe that. 
but I also think that if you go look for kids that have been coached, okay, Lon Kruger's a pretty, he's better. I mean, Cam Mugusty and Brady. You can finish Matt, that sentence. I mean, look at that. You can finish the sentence. He's forgot more you're... basketball than I've ever known. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he has. And so, yeah. but what I'm saying is, but then there's Brady Manny, Cam Mugusty, and Alonis Williams. So they've all done well. They all won. Right. Greg Lansing is a good basketball coach. Okay. Yeah. That, so's Ted Boyle. Yeah, Ted, yeah. That's right. right. So I knew. You got guys. I felt pretty good yeah. about what I was getting, you know. Um, and then I knew at the end of the summer, we were not going to be 13. Just because of, pra- you know, eight weeks of practice, you're like. You told me that over and over. I just said, I don't know where we're going to finish, but yeah. I don't think we'll be 13 because we could score the ball, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, and so, no, we had our kryptonite. You know, we turned it over too much, yeah. and physical teams bothered us. You know, they could really get into us, you know, but that, you know, Every team has scripted. Right. If, if listen, if you need somebody to help you with your non-conference schedule no. next year, I'm here for it. Well, listen, I'm here for it. Let me tell you something. Okay. I know this. Like no ten, more, no more. I, listen, I years. would bring you some cupcakes. We didn't right. know, we didn't ten, know you were going to be on tonight. Ten, Otherwise, I, I would have brought you some cupcakes. Ten years from now, you'll say 25 and 10. You won't say that. Oh, you played so and so and so and so. Remember that. When we Very won, true. hey, All when right. we won 30 games. Before I left, we played three nine ones, but they don't say that. They say you won thirty. Thirty games, okay, very true, go. very All right. true. All right, hey, I got to ask, I gotta All ask right. you about Goodman's go pina colada. Are you a pina colada guy? No, no. so Hell weak. No. I got- Do I look like a pina colada guy? <laughs> <laughs> alcohol. It's got alcohol in it. I'm good. I'm drinking beer. That's what I'm you drinking, drinking whatever. Today. Whatever I mean, you give me. Do I look like that kind of guy? Go get a hurricane for it. That's week two. Go get. What are you gonna get? I don't know. All right, go find it. Go find it. Go to Bourbon Street and find it. Thanks for stopping by. Wake Forest coach uh, Steve Forbes joining us here in the field of 68. Here at Gordon Beers. Who's tagging in? 